I was speaking somewhere in one of the smaller towns of this country at a wedding. And I mentioned the point system, if you know it. When you're getting married, look at the person you want to marry and you give them points for everything they have. But you start off with the deen. If they have deen and akhlaq, you give them a one. If they have good looks, give them a zero after that. What does it become? Ten. If they come from a very noble family, another zero. What do they have? If they have wealth, give them another zero. What do they have? A thousand. And so on. But you started off with the deen and akhlaq. If they don't have the deen and akhlaq, take away the one. What are you left with? Zero. Jazakallah khair. You understand how the point system works? So you need minimum 10. What is the minimum 10? Let me explain. You need deen and akhlaq, and after that you need someone whom perhaps, perhaps, you are attracted to something about them. MashaAllah, you are okay. You are okay. But if they don't have money, it's okay. If they don't, if they don't come from a very noble family, it's okay. If they, etc., etc., those are, those we can compromise, this we will not compromise. Do you know why I'm saying this? Because to leave a legacy, you need to have a solid family structure. If you don't have a solid family structure, what legacy are you going to leave when your life is not even in order? Your whole life is a war, it's a fight. Learn to focus. That's when you leave a legacy. You're a Muslim. Allah instructs you to fulfill salah. When fulfilling salah, you're not even allowed to look around in order to show you that you must be focused on what you're doing. Focus on something.